Now we have a new feature. We know that many of our users on the email list and, and listeners um, uh, enjoy using the commentary screen reader. So in, in the first of a new series, on, on, on context, Miriam is going to introduce commentary to us and take us through some of the uh, so, so some of the features associated with that screen reader. Commentary screen reader, or the Chinese screen reader, has gotten really popular among blinds and visually impaired recently. And here, in the Blind Android Users podcast, we will have a series of episodes in which we will talk about how to use the screen reader and how to get the best out of it. Welcome to the first episode of CSR's Basics for Jesus Screen Reader. In this episode, we're gonna talk about what you need to know before getting the app, or if you're thinking of installing it. Commentary Screen Reader, or Jisho, has been originally developed in China. After it's been created, people outside of China were curious about this screen reader, and what features does it carry? And then, a translator from audiogames.com contributed to translate the app to English and now the app is pretty much completely translated to English and now recently they've been working on translating the app to some other languages like Arabic, French and so on. If we compare it between CSR and TalkBack we can say that every screen reader has its own features and its own advantages and disadvantages. If you are actually confused between what version you should install, I can tell you that there are two versions mainly for CSR. The original, or you could call it the complete version, and the international one. The international one doesn't have some additional features that you probably won't need if you live outside of China. For instance, like the Chinese TTS engine, that the complete version does have. CSR also does have a premium subscription, which could be an annual subscription, two-year subscription, or even three-year subscription. What you get out of the premium subscription is basically some additional features like advanced text editing and advanced text copying, notification summary, which summarize reading notifications, in the screen reader, and sometimes actually it could be pretty useful, app gestures, and backing up some settings to the cloud or your phone. You can install the app through the website, which we will link in the description of the podcast, or the official groups on Telegram and WhatsApp, which the screen reader has. Also, if you are already a user or if you tried the app and you have any feedback, you can send it to the email that's actually in the app up in the up corner. And from my own experiences, the developer is pretty responsive and he replies to your emails in less than 24 hours. As I mentioned, CSR has some groups which are official directly. You can ask questions give your feedback, or even know about the latest news and the updates, and even install the app. Those groups are available on Telegram as well as WhatsApp. There is an English official group, a Chinese official group, as well as an Arabic official group, and if there's any language that CSR is translated to, you would definitely find the group for it. Also, in the app, in the download additional resources, you would find a list of audio tutorials that actually people have created to help you using the app. Commentary Screen Reader is also available on Play Store, but the difference between the Play Store version and the version that you could download from the group or the official website is that there are some features that are restricted or updates that won't actually be released. In this episode, we talked about what you should know before installing CSR. In the next episode, we will talk about the installation process and we will demonstrate how to configure your settings and how to use it 
as best as you want. Thank you for listening. And we will see you next week. Great, Miriam. You may convert me, but I don't know uh, if I would be jumping on that train anytime soon. But that yeah, you should wonderful. do that, actually. I should? Yeah. <laughs> that will be another fight between me and Miriam. You yeah, know. I think. <laughs> I remember back in the day, they at um, at CSUN and other conventions, they used to have Windows dueling competitions. So they would try and identify tasks that they knew that one of the Windows screen readers couldn't do. And then you'd have people sat up stage from Arctic with WinVision, from GW Micro, from to Joyce Freedom Scientific, from Dolphin, and they would all have to demonstrate how they would. Uh, accomplish this task set by uh, the moderators. Maybe we should get Mariam to think of things that court, talk back can't do. And then Matt, we can bring back the dueling screen readers and Mariam and Warren can, can, oh, can yeah. demonstrate. I definitely can do that. Well, that's going to be a nice fight, and I'm looking yes. to a beautiful fight, you know? <laughs> well, what was really funny was how, how the different manufacturers found different ways to try and get around the things they knew their screen readers couldn't yeah, do. Yeah, and you know what? We can, we can have you, Ed, as a judge. You're on Austin, and you can say, okay, which is the best? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do that. I, I always enjoyed that, back when there actually was a choice of Windows screen readers. Remember those days?